This week I toured the Insect Zoo at the Natural History Museum. It's located upstairs on the second floor, and quite honestly, even though I enjoy the museum, I think that this is my favorite exhibit. There are a lot of different types of insects from all around the world, and they're in these glass enclosures, which actually made it a little bit difficult to film them. While you could clean the outside, it was pretty much impossible to clean the inside of the glass, where I guess the insects were probably just rubbing up against it and pooping on it and doing whatever insects do. So you just kind of had to accept that there was going to be a certain lack of quality with your images. But that's okay because there were all sorts of cool forms of life that I was able to film. Um, there's a lot of variety in the way that these insects are shaped, their different life processes, which I think is totally awesome. There were some creatures that I honestly didn't even know how to film because they were just so odd. And here's another example. You can actually just barely see these glow-in-the-dark scorpions when the UV light turns on. Uh, see those blue splotches? Yeah, I, I barely see them either, but there's an example of how amazing the uh, natural world can be. And in the same way that the normal zoo has some inhabitants that might be considered scary or dangerous, the insect zoo had some tough-looking customers. There are a variety of animals that had sharp claws or pinchers or used one or a variety of poisons. Actually, one of the most poisonous, I think, insects was probably also the smallest, the brown recluse spider just sitting uh, unobtrusively under this shovel. One of the real reasons I love this exhibit is that it reaches out to the next generation and gets them used to the idea that insects aren't monsters, they're just living creatures like the rest of us. And that gets people used to the idea of being around insects so that their natural reaction isn't just to step on them. The adults were somewhat of a lost cause. I overheard more than one parent saying how creepy the bugs were, but you can still reach the kids. There was also a cool painting of the prehistoric time on Earth when insects were actually really large, like dragonflies and spiders the size of dogs. I often say that if I had a time machine, that's the time that I personally would want to go back to. Forget the dinosaurs, I want giant bugs. And I guess if I were to nitpick, if there's anything I would want in this exhibit that's not in it right now, it would probably be some sort of VR headset exhibit where uh, people could walk around in this prehistoric area. I don't know, maybe we'll have that in the next 50 years or hopefully sooner. Otherwise, my favorite part of the exhibit is actually the beehive. Just because it has access to the outside world, and the insects will always come back because that's where their hive is. And honestly, I just think it's pretty cool. Just like the entire exhibit, it's pretty cool, and I would definitely recommend it.